I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. Nick Blackwell is reportedly in a stable condition after undergoing a procedure following a sparring session earlier this week. As we know, he was stopped by Chris Eubank Jr., suffering a bleed on the skull, stopped in the 10th at the Wembley Arena. Uh, after being released from hospital, Blackwell admitted he was lucky to escape serious injury and ruled out a return to the ring, but it appears the lure of boxing him enticed him back. Robert Smith, the General Secretary of the British Boxing Board of Control, told his son, I understand he was sparring, fell ill, was taken to hospital, and then underwent a procedure. He's now in stable condition. Smith added that he was disappointed that Blackwell, who was planning to open his own gym and received his trainer's license last month, had put his health in danger. He added, I'm sickened by it. It's a very tough sport, and the doctors have did a wonderful job to save his life. The doctors at hospital kept him going he made a remarkable recovery and for somebody to go and do what he's done and for what i thought was a very sensible young man is just beyond belief yeah what's you guys responses to that man and this guy's bugging man it wasn't he supposed to be a retired yeah yeah i mean we who's he sparring you? who's he supposed to be fighting next he's, he's not supposed to ever fight again man well he was asking gary lockett his trainer if he was to make a comeback, would you train him? And Lockett said no. He said no, I wouldn't. I won't. Good. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad he said that, man, you know, because it's his life and death situation right here, man. And, oh, that's, man, that's crazy. I'm not, I'm not surprised that th this would happen just sparring, you know what I mean? Wow. It's unbelievable. But man. I'm not even stepping in a boxing ring ever again. He's a young man. He needed to do something different with his life. He said if he had millions of pounds and if he could pay to box again, he'd give all the money away so he could box. That's what he said. Just to be back yeah. where he was before. Crazy. 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 You know. He just can't get the bug out of his system, I guess. He can't get it out of his system. No, you know, it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate that, um, you know, a lot of guys, they just can't get it out of their system. You know, even after the sport competitive aspect of it is um is long uh, uh overdue for them calling it a day in terms of uh the danger to their health you know if he wants to still box and everything you I mean just as like a workout and stuff to you know make himself feel good energy back and everything you know that's one thing but to actually go in there and be like throwing hands with somebody further injury or death I mean, that's more key questions though uh who conducted the sparring session or did he just go off somewhere secretly and spar? And who was the sparring partner who would participate in that? Because I certainly wouldn't be sparring. Yeah, man. Yeah. That that reminds me of that Vinnie Paz movie, man. There's a scene where, you know, when Vinnie Paz had came back from, you know, from that vehicle accident and yeah. was out the ring for almost two years and came back. Fellas wasn't trying to spar with him in the ring. I, they thought he's too delicate. They don't want to hurt him. Any one punch could probably sever his spine again, you know? So that just this situation reminds me of that, you know what I mean? Who would even go in the ring and spar with him? Yep. I wouldn't, man. No, I certainly wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it, man. Yeah. But, you know. Well... He's at least in stable condition. And um, time will tell if he'll come to his senses. He might even just go to unlicensed boxing or something or get licensed somewhere out of the United Kingdom because he seems desperate to do it. And if that's what he wants to do, so be it.